Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe was riddled with problems, and that ultimately led to disappointing box office numbers and disastrous streaming results, to the tune of Disney Plus losing $2.5 billion just in the last six months. But one thing that has been common throughout every single Phase 4 project, other than, of course, identity politics taking the forefront as opposed to actually entertaining the fans has been the visual effects. CGI has been a massive complaint, whether it's in the theater or whether it's on Disney+. Plus. Whether you're talking about She-Hulk, Thor, Love, and Thunder, it really doesn't matter. Visual effects was a massive problem for Marvel. And after years and years of being at the forefront in terms of effects, that was a big difference, and people noticed it in Phase 4. Well, now here we are in Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and already with their first entry, the movie that they said was the most important movie since ever, Endgame. We have the same exact results. And now, some visual effects artists, just as they have done time after time over the last several months, they're putting Marvel on blast and explaining to everybody why this happened. Not only did they not give them enough time, money, or direction, but they also were far more worried about another project. Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. Marvel accidentally worsened Ant-Man 3 due to Black Panther 2 work, according to a report. Fans have criticized the visual effects words on recent MCU films, specifically when it comes to the way the CGI looks. The latest installment, Ant-Man 3, so Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, is no different. Many have namely seen issues with the CGI, the quantum realm, and one particular character with a giant head, obviously MODOK. MODOK looks so stupid and ridiculous. And yeah, the problem with the CGI, the quantum realm, the entire movie is there. The entire Ant-Man movie takes place in the quantum realm. The, basically, from beginning to end, they're using CGI, green screen, the volume, all of these things. And what have we seen recently with MCU projects when they do that? It turns out looking like shit, just like Thor, Love and Thunder. And now Ant-Man is exactly the same and all the same complaints like Marvel has not learned. They're continuing to push these workers to the point where they can't get it done in the time that they're expecting. And what do you know? Once again, last minute changes that couldn't be done on time. So they had to take shortcuts. Marvel is an absolute joke. These people are telling them we can't get this done and they don't care. Because Disney and Marvel, they don't care about quality. They just care about shoveling this shit out because they think people will continue to eat it up. Well, now, with the box office results we're seeing, the global box office results that were a massive disappointment for Marvel, they may have to rethink that strategy. How Black Panther 2 negatively affected Ant-Man 3. According to a recent report from Vulture, the visual effects and CGI for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania suffered due to the release of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. This report stated that actual VFX artists working for Marvel said Quantumania didn't receive as much care as it should have, and it said most of the focus was put on Black Panther 2. It's important to note, both films were in both... Both films were in post-production simultaneously, which is where visual effects and CGI are worked on. According to the report, the same VFX companies were working on both films, and according to actual artist, Ant-Man and the Wasp was worked on to a lesser degree and the artists on that film didn't receive the proper resources because of how much Wakanda Forever was prioritized. Of course, that movie had a budget of $250 million. It likely went over that budget, according to reports. Ant-Man had a $200 million budget. Needs 600 mil globally to break even. Does it look like that's going to happen? Or it might be a big struggle for that to happen. We'll see in the coming weeks. The report also stated Ant-Man didn't have nearly enough people working on the film, and at the same time, the workers were given an unreachable deadline to have the film finish. Look at some of these quotes from people coming out of here. In terms of priority, Wakanda Forever was definitely at the top of the list. All the money went to that. All the best resources went to that. It's understandable with Chadwick and everything and how well the first film did, but it did diminish the ability to carry Ant-Man all the way through. And think of what Kevin Feige said about this. He's told us time after time, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is the most important Marvel movie since Endgame. It sets the stage for everything. It's so important. It introduces Kang, blah, 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 all this stuff. Apparently, they didn't treat it that way. They wanted their, basically, their emotional guilt trip of Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. They put all the resources into that. Of course, that too was a box office disappointment. Not as much as Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will likely be, but that's where they put their energy and efforts. They also revealed Marvel Studios made last minute changes that had an effect on many workers. For Ant-Man, there were a lot of editorial changes happening towards the latter third and fourth of the project that were too late. There's a point of no return. Why certain things were changed, why certain notes were nitpicked longer, that's on Marvel but it did cause a lot of tension, turmoil, and weight on everybody at company name Redacted. 
Unfortunately, it's noticeable there were shortcuts. Certain things were used to cover up incomplete work. Certain editorial cuts were made to not show as much action or effects as there could have been because there wasn't enough time to render everything. There was a lot of shortening or rolling of the shots. You just move a few frames of the cut. And all these people have said they're scared to speak out publicly because they know that Marvel will blacklist them, that they will lose their jobs, they'll lose their livelihood. So Marvel just continues to do the same thing time and time again. And they're blaming it on, they just say Disney's greedy. They don't want to spend the money that is actually needed to make this thing look good. And it certainly doesn't look good. This is what the, again, like the fourth, fifth, sixth project in a row that we've been talking about these problems. Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania, another example of Marvel not learning their lesson, not listening to their fans. And once again, this CGI looks like shit. And on top of that, like I said, this box office results, the media can try to spin it however they want. This is bad news. Came in nearly $60 million under global projections and looks like it might have trouble hitting $600 million in the box office. And if that happens, by the way, that'd be less than the previous Ant-Man and the Wasp movie that came out in 2018. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.